Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I am going to show you one of the problem spots in my yard today for planting, and it's this little strip right here along the driveway. So this is our third year in this house. The first year we moved in and I thought, oh, I'll just put some petunias in, no problem. I managed to puncture the irrigation line, and by the time I got my petunias in, that was great, within a week, they were eaten by the bunnies. So I learned that no petunias here, be careful when I dig. Last year, I thought, okay, I'll do a line of daylilies. I love daylilies, I ordered some. And in the process, I got the root slayer, which is one of my favorite garden tools. Um, but I managed to slay through another part of the irrigation line. At that point, I decided I would just put some pots here looked very nice, but I am ready to tackle this again. So year three, I have some beautiful, these are Proven Winners Truffula Pink Globe Amaranths. And these are supposed to bush out about two feet by two feet, so they get pretty big. And they have all these little pom-pom like um, flowers on the end. And just like many of the Proven Winners, you don't have to deadhead these, which is great. Not only that, they are sun tolerant and they are drought tolerant. So even though I keep hitting the water line here, um, the spray actually doesn't cover this really great. So they tend to be a little dry. So I think this is a perfect choice. And this year, I'm having my husband dig them in. So I'm just gonna put these where I'd like you to sort of dig them. You could do one and then one up there a little bit and one down closer. This is why they do the time lapse, <laughs> because it takes so much time. Let's see, we're going to put that earthworm right back in. <laughs> you love gardening, is that what you're saying? They didn't see it, it didn't happen. So we're back. Dan did an amazing job digging. There have been no um, hit water lines here, so it's his job for life. And hopefully we love how these plants look. So I'll give them a little water. We're supposed to get rain tonight. And we should be all set now. I did sprinkle some biotone in the hole as I set them in. And I put some osmocote around the outside too. This is looking great. We managed to finish putting the mulch down in this front part of our garden. And I'm quickly going to just go through the plants that we have that are currently there. So first we have some heuchera. I have two different kinds of heuchera in this garden. The first kind is apple twist heuchera. And the special thing about this plant is that it's this bright neon green, the chartreuse through the summer. And then when you hit the fall, it gets some red veining and red tints to the leaves. And then this is a plant that keeps its leaves all the way through the winter. They sort of get a little flatter looking, but they perk right up in the springtime. The other kind of heuchera I have is the Lemon Supreme heuchera. And the Lemon Supreme heuchera has that chartreuse color um, and it stays pretty consistent throughout the season. Both of these plants get small little wispy stalks of flowers. Heuchera bloom in peach, pink, sort of a deep pink and white. These are both flowers that are white for me and they're really very nondescript, very delicate little wisps that it sends up. I have a bunch of hydrangea in this garden, of course, and here we have pia. I have three of the pia big leaf hydrangea and you can see we have some great looking buds here. This is another uh, picture of one of the other pias here. So you can see that it still does have buds, but they're much smaller than the one I just showed you. And next to it, we have one of the few annuals in this front garden. This is Supersonic Sweet Cherry New Guinea Impatient, and they are doing great, and so far nothing has eaten them, which is really giving a nice pop of color. We have some huge astilbe up here. Now, these are here when we moved in, so I'm not positive of their variety, but if you look at the stalk that it is sending up for the flower here, it kind of droops over, which leads me to believe it's an ostrich plume still be, and it has that pink color when it actually does bloom. Here's another one of our hydrangeas. This is Double Down. It was planted here over the winter with a bucket over it. So far, no buds on this one. I did put in a couple clematis last year. This one is the President. 
and it is just blooming so beautifully right now. Can't wait to see how that continues to do. Here we have a very small hosta in the front that is spreading really, really well. I love it as a ground cover. And behind it, we have the wee bit giddy hydrangea with a lot of buds on it. Here's another shot of it. And here we have the electric lime coleus, where last week in one of my videos, you saw me pinch off some of the little tips of the branches and plant them next to the main plant. And so far, those are doing great. So I think I have some new baby electric lime coleus. Here's my other wee bit giddy. And of course, right back to the truffula pink globe amaranth that we just planted. And they look very happy here, surrounded by their new mulch. So this nice little sweep next to our front driveway is really coming along. I love looking out the window and seeing it look so bright and cheerful. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing a piece of my garden. Below, drop me some pictures of what you have currently in your front garden. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.